Hey guys, welcome to another Arduino tutorial. And starting this tutorial, I would like to apologize because I haven't made many videos. And I think the last one I made was like a year ago, and I'm sorry for that. So I'm going to start, I'm going to make a new one today, and I hope y'all like it. And in this video, I'm going to show y'all how to make an LCD change its text with only one code. So for this project, you're going to need the Arduino Uno. I'm using the um, uh, Model 3 LCD screen, a potentiometer, and a handful of jumper cables, and a breadboard. So, first, we're going to put the um, LCD on the breadboard. And I would like you to watch my previous video on making a calculator. Um, that I also use the LCD in that one. So the first pin on the um, LCD goes to ground. So we're going to put that on ground on the breadboard. The second pin goes to power or 5 volts. Next, we're going to put the potentiometer. 10K is preferable. So, the third pin on the LCD goes to the middle pin of the potentiometer. And to finish hooking up the potentiometer, we need to put one side pin to positive and the other side pin to negative. It doesn't matter which one. You can do whichever one to the right or the left. The, um, now we're going to put the Arduino in place because now we're going to need it. So first we're going to connect the 5 volts and the negative to the uh, breadboard on the power and ground rails. Okay, we got that hooked up now. The next wire that on the, the fourth goes on to the Arduino. The eighth pin I'm using in this tutorial. The next goes to ground. So the fifth goes to ground. And the next pin again goes to the Arduino. And I'm using pin nine for this one. Um, then, like if you watch my calculator video, you will know that we skip four of these pins and go to the next four. So we're going to do that. So sk skip these four pins, and then we go to on the on the fifth pin of that, and we connect that to the tenth to pin ten. Sorry. After that. Pin 11. And after that, pin 12. And of course, you know what's next pin 13. So the last two on the Arduino, the last two pins on the LCD, sorry, are optional. They are the um, back lighting, so they make your LCD appear brighter. So, the first pin goes to power, and the last pin goes to ground. Yes, and I um, fix something here because I only want to hit three. But make sure you go ahead, skip four in the center of the LCD. So yeah, we've done that now. And now we are, I believe we are done with the circuit. So here it looks. Complete a circuit. And now we're going to use, this is where the laptop comes in. You'll also need a USB. So, for this, here's the code. We are going to first include the liquid crystal library, which is on all Arduinos. 
And then we're going to define our LCD pins, which are, as I said, 8 through 13 on the Arduino. So we're going to name it as LCD and put 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And remember to end all your lines in a semicolon. Otherwise, it would be an error. Then void setup, we're not going to put anything in there because everything we're going to need is going to be in the loop. So as we go to loop, we're going to see, we're going to set the beginning LCD at 16, 2, which is going to be where it starts. And then we're going to LCD print, I just, you can put whatever you want in these parentheses. I just put, hey, YouTubers. And then we're going to set the cursor to the next line. So that's going to be 0, 2. And then we're going to put, and I, I put, welcome back, LCD print. And then next we're going to, you know how we're changing text. So you can put however much time you want that text to last before switching to the next. You know that seconds in Arduino are 1,000 milliseconds in the code. So I put my text for 3,000. So that's three seconds that it's going to last. And then you're going to put LCD clear. That's going to make the LCD show nothing. And then after that, we're going to do LCD begin again because we're going to write something new. LCD begins 16, 16, 2. And then we're going to print, I'm going to print, this is pretty. Because remember, you can only fit 16 characters on this certain type of LCD. Because 16 by 2. 32 characters on both lines. But on one line, 16. So that's why I'm only putting, this is pretty. And then we're going to put LCD set cursor. And then to the next line, 0, 2. 0, 2, sorry. And, L and then LCD print, and I put in the parentheses, cool, right? Because remember, it said this is pretty cool, right? And 16 characters, remember? No more. And then comma, and then let me scroll down. And then I'm going to delay for 3,000 again. Again, you can put whatever you want, however you want this to last, however long you want this to last. And then LCD clear which is going to wipe it, and then, the, you know, as the loop, it's going to start over. So we're going to put this up now. And it's good. So we're going to adjust the brightness so we can see the little pixels on the LCD. If you don't see the pixels, turn your potentiometer, and you should be able to see them. So now we're going to upload the sketch. And it's loading. So again, this isn't a very complex project. You're just going to need some basic materials. And I would like to make more, bit more and more videos. So I would just like to say again, I'm sorry for the little break I took. is what happens when you don't use Arduino in a long time. Okay, it's finished loading, so now we can I can show this to you. So we're going to reset this so you can see it from the beginning and check this out. You can see how it's changing every three, sec three seconds. And after it finishes, it loops back to the beginning, which is, hey, YouTubers, welcome back. This is pretty cool, right? I think it is. So, I'd like y'all to I would like to thank y'all for watching the video, and I would like you to know that I will be making more videos and leave your questions in the comments. I will try my best to answer them. And I've had some requests on projects and I'm going to try and do those. So, thank y'all for watching and I'll see you next time.